Pegasus 40 or the Windflow 10? Which one should you buy? Let me tell you. Right, let's sort out the specs between these two shoes. So first of all, weight. The Pegasus is lighter at 266 grams, but the Windflow isn't that much heavier because that comes in at 281 grams. Both of these shoes have a 10 mil drop from heel to toe, and both are classed as a mid cushion shoe. However, they are different because the Pegasus has the React midsole, and it also has two Zoom Air units, one in the heel and one in the forefoot, whereas the Windflow only has Nike Air cushioning on the midsole. Both of these are designed to be a neutral support shoe. The Pegasus is designed to be a highly responsive shoe, whereas the Windflow is designed to be a medium responsive shoe. Both of them have this waffle inspired outsole. The Pegasus has a midfoot strap for a secure feel and the Windflow 10 has toe overlays for durability. The Windflow comes in a whopping nine colors for men, but only four for women, and the Pegasus comes in six colors for men and only four for women. Both of these shoes are true to size. I'm size eight, both size eight, both fit really well. And the Pegasus is the more expensive shoe at 114 pounds and the Windflow comes in at 99 pounds as standard. However, you can really easily find this for cheaper. I found it for 79 on Nike's website. So just do some searching on the internet, you'll find it cheaper. Right, so let's sort out which is the better shoe. Starting off with the traction, they both have this waffle inspired pattern. And to be fair to them, both of them are really good. It's really even on these. I think both shoes do well in the wet, they do well in the dry, on steep hills, over drains and on the grass. I've tested it all and both of them hold up really well. I would say though that the Pegasus slightly edges it on traction. I think it's just got a little bit more to it. I think the waffle pattern is slightly more aggressive. It's super close but the Pegasus does just edge it on the traction. Onto the upper, this is an easy win for the wind flow. The Pegasus is bulky and horrible and to be honest it gets quite warm. It's not the nicest upper, I really don't like it. Whereas the Windflow is not a super nice upper, however it's a lot better than the Pegasus. It is quite lightweight and breathable, even though it's a heavier shoe, it still feels more lightweight and it doesn't come with that bulk that the Pegasus does, so the Windflow definitely takes this one. Toe box, right, I think the toe box on the Windflow is better. Looking at them, I think it just is slightly wider just here and that makes a massive difference. I found that the Pegasus wasn't too bad, but it's a little bit cramped towards the end, whereas I thought the Windflow just had a nicer toe box. It's a little bit roomier. It felt more comfortable on a long run and when pushing the pace. So the Windflow is definitely gonna take it for the toe box. Onto Lockdown. The Windflow is gonna run away with it again because Lockdown on this is pretty good. The laces work really well in the midfoot and they actually lock your foot down super well. Whereas the Pegasus has this midfoot strap. Don't know why they're bothered. It doesn't do anything. The lockdown on this is horrible. If you tighten these laces quite tight, it's really uncomfortable. So you end up pulling them and loosening them. And then there's no lockdown at all when your foot's just swimming around. It's a real like sort of one way or the other and both are bad. So I just think it's a clear winner for the wind flow on this one. An extra little side note on the lockdown. Both of them don't lock you down very well around the collar of the shoe. It's not great, it's something with the way they're laced, they just don't lock you down that great. However, as far as lockdown goes as a whole, the Windflow definitely takes it because the rest of the foot is great. So cushioning on these shoes. So they've got different cushioning. We've got the React in the Pegasus and we've got the Air in the Windflow. So the Pegasus should feel better. And I'd say on a long run, it does feel better. However, if you want versatility from your shoe, it's not doing it. Once you take these shoes up a notch, put the pace in, they're rubbish. It's absolutely terrible. The cushion is just bad. Whereas the Windflow, it's not the most cushioned shoe ever. It's probably a little bit lacking on cushion. However, it works, it's functional. You're not gonna get back from a run and go, oh, that felt horrible. You can push the pace, it doesn't matter what you do. Whereas in the Pegasus, if you're pushing the pace, you're just like, it's just not right. It's not there, there's something wrong with it. So for me, the Windflow's gotta take it again because what the cushion does give you is enough, whereas the Pegasus doesn't work. Responsiveness, so the Pegasus should run away with this especially with those air zoom units. And when you run slow, 
it feels like it should. It feels quite responsive slow, but what I said in the last one about pushing the pace, this shoe falls apart at pace. It is absolutely terrible. So you don't really need responsiveness on a slow run, but you do need it on some intervals or maybe a tempo. And to be fair, although again, the Windflow doesn't have loads of responsiveness, it's quite flat footed it's still enough and it feels like it's not broken it feels fine you can get away with it and get through the session whereas it feels like there's something wrong with the pegasus and it just doesn't work at pace so the wind flow just has to take it on responsiveness again because i would rather run intervals in this shoe laces now this is something where i think both of them are terrible and it's for different reasons the wind flow laces up better the way the laces are on the shoe, it makes the upper hug your foot better, you get more lockdown. However, they come undone all the time. It's so easy to get these undone. The Pegasus doesn't lock you down well at all. As I've said, the laces just seem rubbish. They're really annoying. However, they bind really well. Do them up once and they won't come undone, which is really good, except for the fact that the laces just make this shoe uncomfortable. Looks right. <laughs> well, here we go. Back to my conspiracy of the Nike make their lower cost shoes look bad on purpose. They both look awful. They look absolutely terrible. However, I'm going to give the point to the Pegasus because it comes in six colours and I think they look okay. The Windflow comes in nine and all of them are horrific. They're so ugly. I hate the way this shoe looks. It's awful. Um, so yeah, so the Windflow just loses flat out on that one and the Pegasus is going to take the point there. And then finally we're going to durability and I'm going to give this an even keel because I've run about the same miles in both and I think we're edging up to about the 200 mark for each shoe and they're fine. They're in really good condition. There's nothing wrong with it. The tread is starting in little areas to get a bit scuffed up. But apart from that, they're absolutely fine. As I said, I've taken them off road as well. So I've done a lot in these shoes and I've pushed the pace and I've run in the wet and I've run up some horrible hills and taken them off road. And to be fair, durability wise, they've really stood up well. The uppers are in great condition. So as far as durability goes, both of these are gonna take a point. So to sum it up, the wind flow is the winner. It's a clear winner for me. I don't really understand the Pegasus anymore. It kind of doesn't really fit into Nike's lineup, I don't think, because this shoe is cheaper and better. So I just think everyone should immediately go wind flow. Now, the Pegasus is slightly better on a slow, long run. However, that doesn't mean the wind flow is bad at that, but the wind flow can do everything else you need it to do. You can easily get away with doing intervals, tempos, hill work, whatever you like in this shoe. You can take them off road. You could race in them if you want, and they're still gonna perform well on that long, slow run. Maybe not as well as the Pegasus, but they beat it in every other category. So for me, Definitely buy the Windflow 10 over the Pegasus and save yourself some money, especially with the fact that you can find this shoe cheaper if you do a little bit of hunting online. So I hope this video has helped you save some money and buy a better shoe. If you want to see an in-depth review of each shoe, they'll be coming up on the screen now. If you've got any questions, please drop them in the comments below. If you think I've earned it, please hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.